Hey friends, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Hot News. In case you weren't keeping track, we actually haven't done one for a while because the last one we did was last Tuesday and I came down with some pretty uh, severe symptoms and I got some COVID testing and it turns out that I did not test positive for that. So that's good. I tested negative is what I'm trying to say. So I don't have that, but I've just been in a really off place for the entire past like week, essentially. Anyways, we got some housekeeping stuff to talk about. Number one, we are doing our annual charity 24 hour live stream this coming Friday, and we've got a big announcement to show for you. Yes, that's right, my friends. You are going to be able to win my custom one of a kind UFD Tech $3,500, $4,000 computer. Let me put this down. You'll be able to win that from our charity live stream. It's going to be for people who donate towards the cause that we're raising money for. We're going to be raising money for Syngap Research Fund, who is a nonprofit organization dedicated to help research for the rare disease that my son has, which is known as Syngap. And actually, they have a fundraising campaign going on right now where they just need a little bit of extra money to put them over the edge so that they can give it to a researcher who is confident that she will be able to at least give us a lot of information on how we could potentially cure and change treat this going forward so it could potentially mean that my son eventually soon would get cured and everybody else who has this rare disease could have hope in their future so it's a big thing for me that's why I'm giving away such a large prize because we do need to raise a lot of money I think our goal is $35,000 so I wanted to pony up myself what I could in order to incentivize the donations for that but we also have other companies coming in and partnering with us such as today's video sponsor Ting they're actually going to be giving away three galaxy a20s on the stream on Friday, but Ting is the mobile phone carrier that does things differently. This is the ad spot time. This is the sponsor part when you, you should totally check them out because you pay for what you use, whether it's the minutes, the text messages or the data, you can check the rate calculator and find out, am I going to pay less with Ting? Because more often than not, you will. The average Ting bill is $23 a month and I pay for two Ting lines and my average phone bill is $23 for both of them. So that's like twelve and a half dollars each. Anyways, you can use the link in the video description, ufd.ting.com, to save $50 off your first bill with them for the month of August. And if you're worried about coverage, don't, because they have the T-Mobile slash Sprint network, which they're the same thing now, as well as just adding Verizon. So they cover a whole host of different mobile phone carriers. You bring your own phone, you get it good. And then with the link in the video description, you get $50 off your first one. And then you also have the chance to win a phone this coming Friday at our charity stream. You have a chance to win my PC and it's all going towards a great cause. That means a lot to me and for my family. We're trying to plan it so that's gonna be a good 24 hour stream, but we're excited for that. And just one last thing before we get into the tech news, I'm gonna be live right now as this video is being released over on Twitch. In case you wanna come talk with me about the giveaway, you wanna come talk with me about the tech news you're about to hear, twitch.tv forward slash UF Disciple. Come chat, come say hi. We'd love to have you over there while I'm streaming. So let's get into it. Let's get into the NVIDIA news because there was a whole lot that dropped in the week that I took off. Number one, the least exciting one, is that the PG133A board passed the RRA certification in Korea, essentially just meaning they can produce this. It's safe. It's hopefully not going to kill anybody. I actually don't know if it means that. They, they might become sentient and murder us. But what will murder your power supply and your computer is the fact that we talked about previously that there was going to be a 12 pin power connector on the RTX 30 series cards. Turns out Seasonic confirming that is reality. It is an NVIDIA 12 pin PCI Express Molex Microfit 3.0 connector. You take two A pins, you connect them to the NVIDIA 12 pin and there you go. It's an extension and it's recommended that you use it with the power supply that's rated at 850 watts or higher. And that is insane. You see the picture. They are calling it the NVIDIA 12 pin. This is not necessarily just a regular standard. This is going to be branded NVIDIA. So G4 certified power supplies coming your way. This could honestly, because, okay, this is going to be my conspiracy theory here, right? You have an eight pin and an eight pin, right? Your power supply already does that. Why do you really need to go with 12 pin? There's no power supplies on the market that already have a 12 pin. So you can use the ones you already have with this adapter. So all this means is that the ones that ship with the 12 pin get to have, they get to pay NVIDIA for the marketing of G4 certified. It's the same thing as them opening opening the standard of FreeSync and being like, yeah, yeah, FreeSync monitors, they work with G-Sync, ha. Huh. And then they put G-Sync badges 
changes everywhere because it's a marketing thing. This might actually legitimately need to be existing, but at the same time, this is going to be this is going to be a, a marketing hoo ha. So there's just some information from Seasonic. It, apparently there's no NDA on the 12 pin power connector and the power supply manufacturer will have to increase the cost of the bonus line. So do you have a regular power supply or do you have an NVIDIA certified power supply? You don't, you noob, why don't you buy AMD? Cause you're poor. That's essentially what this is gonna mean. It's gonna be huge flexing. Speaking of huge, we got pictures of the RTX 3090 next to a 2080 and damn, that he's thick. That is that is massive. I can't. So if you're paying attention at home, what you'll notice here is that that's a three slot card, not unlike this, except for it looks like the entire heatsink goes up to that third slot, whereas my EVGA one right here actually doesn't. And that third spot's a bit of extra space. So it's actually going to be likely larger than my 2080 Super from EVGA, which is already a triple slot. And it's probably going to look similar to what this 970 does to this 2080 Super. Just that is a heckin' chonker. As we get closer and closer to the September 1st announcement date, from nvidia on these rtx 30 series we just keep getting things confirmed over and over again and the the big thing is that this is just a heckin hefty boy and you can see that there does appear to be the rtx 30 naming scheme right there on that black part i am excited for this i am terrified of what that's going to do to case airflow my friend wesley fick from south africa made this helpful little chart for what you need to know you got the intake you got all that going on you got the hot little potato of the 3090 and then just general panic down here because the fans are blowing in opposite directions and creating a gigantic uh, confusion of what's going on. But there's not confusion when it comes to the fact that we got to start marketing for these 30 series cards and Galax and Gainward are doing exactly that, releasing promotional teasers for the fact that the 30 series should be launching sometime soon. And while we wait for the launch of the 30 series, Nvidia is not waiting on making money. They came out with their Q2 earnings talking about how they made nearly $4 billion in one quarter. But for the first time, ever gamers you and I accounted for under half of their revenue with that coming in at 46% but now it's the data center that's the big money 54% of their revenue went to that it's possible that that will likely change with Q3 and the launch of the next generation of gaming cards gamers will actually pick them up Q2 obviously saw the rise of the coronavirus it saw the rise of people waiting for the next gen so potentially we could reclaim that 50% spot but at the same time it does look like Nvidia's business is going to move more and more towards data center and then eventually they can drop us gamers all together and not have to worry about us and our rumors and our complaining and everything that we want from them that they're not giving us but Google has given us more leaks of their phones. The Pixel 4a, in case you didn't hear, was leaked to death before it ever came out. And it looks like we're getting the exact same treatment for the 4a 5G as well as the Pixel 5, which if you take a look at this picture, which one would you guess is the 5 and the 4a 5G? Well, it turns out the smaller one's going to be the Pixel 5 and that big boy on the right is the 4a 5G. We got specs that appear to be there, such as the 3800 and 4000 milliamp hour battery. The Pixel 5 won't won't have a headphone jack, but it should have 90 hertz display, eight gigs of RAM, and then the 4A 5G would have 60 hertz and six gigs of RAM there. The 5G phones are supposed to start at $500, so we're gonna say wait and see when these things are supposed to drop, but I'm kinda confused at the market of the Pixel 5, but we'll have to wait and see how that pans out, which is what a lot of people are doing with TikTok with regards to whether or not it's gonna get banned in the United States. But speaking of TikTok, just another little bit of self-promotion. We're actually not doing too bad. We have several vi videos that have passed a million views and we have almost 100,000 followers there. So if you wanna follow us on TikTok, it's TikTok something. UFD Tech is our name over there. Anyways, regardless, TikTok is apparently gonna be suing the US administration because of the threat of the ban, essentially saying that it is not legal for them to be doing this. So they're gonna fight lawsuits with lawsuits, which is what my grandpappy always taught me to do. And my grandpappy always taught me to not trust the DC universe because they don't typically ever do things right, but they released a whole bunch of stuff over the weekend with the DC fandom and a lot of cool stuff that I am particularly interested in. Number one, they have a new game, Gotham Knights, which looks to be 
the Avengers game that's coming out from Marvel, but uh, not as bad looking. I don't know. Avengers super underwhelmed me. This one looks good, but it doesn't have Batman in it, which is neat. The trailer for Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League also got dropped as well. In case you want to see that, it does look like a completely different movie. Apparently, they had tons of extra footage to work with. And then the thing that I was most excited about was the trailer for The Batman, Matt Reeves' new version of The Batman movie. I think the scene that sealed it for me as to how uh, different this is going to be is this one right here where Batman and decides to beat up a goon and just keeps going keeps going and then when he's down he keeps that this is just a different tone than anything i've seen so this is crazy the uh stuff coming out of dc fandom is quite cool i'm excited for uh edward cullen to be the batman because that would make sense if he's a vampire and he's a batman i'm sure somebody's already made that joke i'm sorry people make the joke about can it run crisis all the time and you don't hear everybody telling them to shut up except for i do anyways crisis remaster finally got its release date september 18th it apparently is going to have features such as 8k support hdr and all of that goodness coming to ps4 xbox one and Epic games store on september 18th as well as going to be supporting dlss and ray tracing speaking of ray tracing world of warcraft shadowlands is going to be getting ray tracing and there is a new screenshot comparison which it's a good thing they call it shadowlands because if you look at the left which is ray tracing on you look at the right which is ray tracing off Ray tracing essentially just enhances all of the shadows. Shadow lands, ray traced shadows. It makes sense that just it, it's a shadowy, shadowy goodness land. And goodness land might be where you are when you play COD, but Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is the next one that just got announced. Speaking of more games, Hitman 3 is being confirmed that on PC it's going to be Epic Game Store exclusive, which you can discuss down below in the comments whether or not you like that. Then we also got the fact that the robot revolution is coming faster than we thought with Heron Systems AI pilot able to beat human pilots in a dogfight. This was in a trial event where the AI beat a human pilot five to nothing. The human pilot was using VR, so that might be a slight disadvantage, but in simulators such as this, it should be roughly the same anyways. When when they take over they can kill us in the sky good stuff and they could do it quickly with the super fast internet with researchers now having a new fiber optic speed record of 178 terabits per second which is 20 percent faster than the previously recorded fastest internet speed this is university college london coming out and setting the record and just being kerchu in all of that and i know that the intro to this was not kerchu i'm sorry for that i appreciate you guys for uh sticking with me on that don't forget that this friday is our upcoming 24 hour charity live stream we're gonna be raising money for my son's rare disease you can potentially win my custom ufd tech one of a kind pc the motherboard literally says ufd tech on it and you can you can find out how to win that so mark your calendars for that don't forget to come follow me over on twitch right now i'm currently live streaming i would be love it would be lovely to see you there and speaking of fast internet you can get fast mobile stuff with ting ufd.ting.com you can save 50 dollars off your first bill with them by using the link in the video description check and see how much you'll pay for your phone bill ting's great i love them they've been great to us so check them out and they're sponsoring the charity event so that's awesome and i'm done goodbye